Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I like to fly into with text. Let's begin by dragging our clip up onto the track above so we can place our text on the track below it. Next, let's open up the effects library. Under toolbox, select titles, and in here you'll see the regular text title. Drag that onto the track below your video clip on the timeline. You may want to increase the duration of your text clip so that it matches your video. Now to see your text again, select your top video clip on the timeline and go over to the inspector. In here, change the composite mode to multiply. And there in the preview, you'll have your see-through text. Next, I'm going to select my text and up in the inspector, I'll edit it a little bit. To keep this snappy, I'll just change what it says, the font, and increase its size so there's plenty of room to fly through. Okay, back on the timeline, position the playhead to where you want to start zooming into your text. Then use the blade tool to cut your text clip at that position. Now move the playhead to where you want to finish flying through. I'll just do mine a couple seconds later. This time, you'll need to cut both your bottom and top clips at the playhead's position like this. You won't be needing the last part of your text clip, so select it and hit the backspace key. Now by the time we reach this last clip in our video, we'll want to see the entire video. So select this part of your top clip, and in the inspector, change the composite mode back to normal. Next, select the second part of your text clip, and in the inspector, go over to the video tab. All the way at the bottom, you'll see dynamic zoom. Go ahead and turn that switch on. Unfortunately, this won't give us the zoom we want right away. So under the preview, click this transform drop down button, and select Dynamic Zoom. In the preview, the red box represents where you're zooming in to. Since you're going through the letters, you'll need to resize this to be super small so it fits inside a letter. Also, make sure it's not touching any of the black background or you'll see that in your final result. The green box is where you're zooming from, so you'll just want to resize that to fit the entire frame. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking flying through text effect. If you want an easier zoom, just make sure your second text clip is still selected on the timeline, and in the Inspector's Video tab, change the Dynamic Zoom's Ease setting to Ease In or one of the other options. Alright, I really like how that Ease In looks. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.